And good Saturday morning to you. Welcome to the 69 News Netcast. I'm Bo Colt now. And I'm Karen Millette. If you weren't watching 69 News at sunrise, here's a bit of what you missed. A new revelation about the case of the mysterious booms that have rattled Upper Bucks County from earlier this summer. The district attorney says a Milford Township man charged in a series of explosions in the spring had help from his girlfriend. Conspiracy charges have been filed against 31-year-old Tina Smith of Milford Township. Officials say she drove David Sermon Jr. while he threw improvised explosives out a car window. Pennsylvania lawmakers are debating a bill that could help survivors of child sex abuse take their cases to court. Now, State Attorney General Josh Shapiro voiced his support on Friday for a bill that would allow victims with expired claims a two-year window to file civil lawsuits. The provision, called Window of Justice, passed in the House, but it's been omitted in the latest version being considered by the Senate. A boil water advisory remains in effect for thousands of people following a water main break in Spring Township. Pennsylvania American Water discovered the problem Wednesday night and made repairs yesterday. Officials are now awaiting test results to make sure that water is safe to drink. The company has five water tanks set up in the area so people can come and pick up water. And in weather, hello fall, nice to see you again. You are here, 58 degrees, a little rainy this morning. We'll clear up this afternoon. Tomorrow, 60 degrees, perfect days to get outside and enjoy the fall temps, maybe with a nice sweater. For more local news or watch 69 News, get updates here at WFF. For more local news, watch 69 News or get updates here at WFMZ.com. Have a good weekend.